There are a number of driving factors in my life. One of which is, I believe every one of us has potential. For myself, I want to develop those potential and talents to the fullest extent and make the best use of my life. I love challenges. I love to stretch myself as much as I can. I love to challenge my limits. And I set for myself goals, dreams constantly. And I enjoy the process of working towards those dreams, working towards fulfilling those goals. By the time you watch this video, I would be in my final lap of my journey battling with cancer because I will be in the hospital undergoing my bone marrow transplant. I do not know what kind of outcome will happen to this bone marrow transplant, but I believe that I'll be still alive and I'll be kicking my way to the finish line. And I make a commitment right now. I'm going to go for my treatment. And there's a sense of urgency. I need to be treated now. Now is the time. Now is the time to embark on this new lap of my race. Conviction propel us to make a commitment. We always can ask ourselves how strong is this desire? The strength of desire determines the strength of our conviction. For me, it was a strong desire, a strong conviction that led me to a commitment that was featured on 12th of July in the papers entitled, How Can I Give Up a Fight? Chemotherapy commenced in late April. It is going to be my race against cancer. The cycle begins. But there were days when the journey gets tough. It was smooth sailing when I was running the race on the flat course. And there were inclines where it became harder. Through my experiences in my marathon racing, I knew what the hills have for me. The hills are going to determine how I'm going to fare among my competitors. And in my marathon racing, I know that the hills are the terrain where I will beat the rest of my competitors. And I, will, I also remember that the hills will determine how I do in my race. But this inclines my cancer journey have been really challenging. I face rejection. The drugs and myself are not compatible, but the sense of hope pull me up and I quickly bounce out of the bed and say, now I need to have my drinks so that I have the strength to be able to do all those projects in spite of my cancer. I have gone through the cycles with this sense of purpose, one cycle after the next cycles, and I have gone into my final lab. By the time you watch this video on the 6th of October, it is my final lab of chemotherapy which I've completed seven days of carpet bombing which destroy my total bone marrow and then the bone marrow transplantation using my donor's stem cells. All about whatever it takes to succeed and I want to make it happen because of my conviction. My conviction is that yes, I can. I can finish my last lap. With final sprint, I'm going to reach the finish line. I know that there are no shortcuts to reaching the finish line. There are no shortcuts to success at all. I recognize that I have to put in my hard work. I have to put in the labor. Through all the experiences I have during the earlier cycles, I have come up with a strategy. As a cancer patient, I'm. I'm not satisfied with just surviving cancer. I want to thrive as a cancer patient. My strategy starts from the most basic of all, to recognize, to put into perspective my problem. 
that in spite of what I'm going through, in spite of the hardship, in spite of all those heartbreak hills along the way, I must not kill the dream. Instead, I must be able to turn problems I encounter into opportunities.